One, go. A long time ago, in a video format long, long since departed, some guy got the bright idea to create a VHS-based virtual aquarium. A videotape that simulated fish. Look, it sounds stupid, but this is back when a flying toaster bouncing around your screen was considered blockbuster technology. It didn't take much. That guy made a mint, selling virtual fish. So why can't Tetris get in on the gravy train? Thus, Tetris Splash. It's Tetris with fish. I'll let that sink in. One of the greatest puzzle games ever created, quite possibly the most recognizable video game in the history of the industry, now with fish. Played in front of an aquarium, with a sensual, breathy voice announcing your block-dropping conquests. In front of fish. Look, this game's gone through a lot. It's been ported to everything from consoles, to PCs, to pocket watches, to pews in a church, to building windows. And now, aquatic life. So here's the skinny. It's the Tetris you know and love, but with the most recent official developments. The instant drop activated by hitting up on the controller, and the ghost piece which indicates where your current piece will land. That's really all that's happened to Tetris proper in the last two decades and change. That and fish. You've got your choice of marathon mode or a 40 line race as far as single player offerings go. It's slim pickings, though the experience is bolstered by well-designed reinterpretations of the classic Tetris soundtrack. Tetris. Making up for the scant solo offering is a significantly more robust multiplayer mode supporting up to four local competitors or six players in an online scrum. These can be aligned in three on three, two on two on two, or free for all arrangements, though you'll be hard pressed to find any competition. I realize that this game's been on the market for a while, but I expected at least a little bit more action given its recent price drop to just five bucks. But I've yet to find a single online opponent. Which leaves me with the fish. In a brazen display of microtransaction obsession, individual varieties of fish are available for purchase as well as themed backdrops, both for the actual Tetris game, or if you want to use your big, powerful Xbox 360 as a fish tank. It's the only aquarium that can red ring. Well, unless you've got a particularly vicious batch of piranhas. It strikes me as a particularly egregious waste of resources, though. I mean, even if the game's only five bucks, I could buy you a mess of guppies. You can keep them in a mayonnaise jar or something, leave the game machine to the games. Unless you're desperate to have some form of Tetris about and don't mind an absolutely barren multiplayer scene, save the points for something less fishy. <laughs> 